hi everyone in uh, today's video i will take up a tricky question in the area of parallel sailing uh, this question is from principles of navigation uh, doing this question will clear your concepts about the concept of parallel sailing so without much delay let's get into the question the question is that there is a ship on the equator that is zero degrees of latitude and uh, it is steering 270 degrees true at 18 knots another ship is in a south latitude that is steering a course of 090 degrees true while the first ship makes a d long of 1 degree 40 minutes the second ship makes a d long of 2 degrees now remember this is in the same time period based on this you have to find the latitude of the second ship the latitude of the first ship is already given to you it's at the equator it's zero degrees based on this information you have to find the latitude of this second ship only now before you start solving this question with navigation questions remember you must draw whatever you can conceptualize try to draw it first so that the concept is clear to you as to what is happening all right so you are at the so the first ship not you but the first ship is on the equator so let's say this is the zero degrees of latitude zero degrees doesn't have north or south zero degrees of latitude this is the first ship we'll call it first ship here this is steering so not it's not going this way it's going zero zero two seven zero sorry so i have to correct this diagram slightly so the first ship is actually going two seven zero so it's going this way here right it's going 270 degrees true so you know the course the course is known to you 270 degrees and the speed is given to you as well speed is 18 knots right and this first ship has made a d long a d long of 1 degree and 40 minutes all right so how much distance has it traveled so remember in parallel sailing parallel sailing means sailing along the same parallel of latitude parallel of latitude in this case the latitude is zero degrees right so how do you find the distance traveled in parallel sailing we say departure equals d long multiplied by cos of latitude so in parallel sailing because there is only one latitude involved we say departure equals d long multiplied by cos of latitude if it there were two latitudes involved it was a case of plane sailing the same formula becomes departure equals d long multiplied by cos of m lat all right now let's see what is given to you here is latitude given to you yes it is it is zero degrees is d long given to you yes one degree and 40 minutes so can you calculate the departure or the distance traveled by the ship first ship distance traversed you can say traversed by first ship based on the d long given to you right so how do you calculate that departure equals now d long cannot be used as one degree and 40 minutes you use degree and minutes only if you have a sine cos tan cosecant secant cotangent preceding it there is no sine cos or tan so d long cannot be used as one degree and 40 minutes it has to be converted into minutes so one degree and 40 minutes equals how many minutes so multiply 1 degree by 60 60 minutes plus remaining 40 minutes which is equal to 100 minutes all right so d long in this big case becomes 100 minutes multiplied by cos of latitude which is 0 degrees this is for the first ship only remember this is for the first ship so then departure equals 100 nautical miles all right so 100 minutes or 100 nautical miles this is the distance traveled along the same parallel of latitude by the first ship when the d long suspended is 1 degree 40 minutes all right now the time taken for the first ship to travel this 100 nautical miles which is the departure in this case of course is what time is equal to distance by speed right distance you have calculated is 100 nautical miles 
and speed is given to you in the question as 18 knots. So that is the time taken by the first ship to travel 100 nautical miles. So the second ship has also taken the same time to suspend a d long of 2 degrees. All right. So time taken by first ship. to travel 100 nautical miles or d long of 1 degree and 40 minutes is equal to time taken by second ship to make a d long of 2 degrees. All right. Therefore, distance traveled by the second ship in the same time interval, in the same time interval will be what? So the time is, distance is nothing but speed multiplied by time. You don't know the speed of the other ship do you know the time of the other ship so yes of course you know the time of the other ship so the speed is given also oh, you know the speed of the other ship sorry the speed of the other ship is given as 15 knots and the time as you have calculated here which is the same for the first and the second ship is 100 by 18 so 15 multiplied by 100 divided by 18 will give you distance traveled as 83.33 nautical miles. All right. Now, if this is the distance traveled by the second ship, which is also equal to what departure. So departure, which is equal to distance east west distance along the same parallel latitude is equal to 83.33 nautical miles. All right. Now for the second ship also departure will also be equal to d long multiplied by cos of latitude. So you know departure, you know d long which is 2 degrees. Only thing is you don't know what is latitude. So departure is 83.33 nautical miles. d long given to use as 2 degrees. But can you use 2 degrees? No. You will use 2 degrees only if there is a sine cos tan something like that preceding it there is no sine cos or tan here so 2 degrees has to be converted into minutes how do you convert 2 degrees into minutes 2 by 60 is nothing but 120 minutes right 1 degree is 60 minutes of course 2 degrees is 120 minutes so you will use 120 minutes remember that not 2 degrees so 120 minutes multiplied by cos of latitude which is unknown to us and this is what we have to find this is for second shape remember that right so cos of latitude will be equal to 120 by 83 uh, sorry the other way around not this way but the other way around so 120 will be going on the other side 120 will come here so 83.33 divided by 120 which is equal to 0 0.6944 shift cos inverse latitude cos inverse of 0 0.6944 will give you the latitude of second ship is equal to 46 degrees 0 01 minutes now latitude has to have a north or south now in the question itself it says the second ship was in south latitude so you will name it south all right so you can see that uh, although the question initially if you read it it doesn't make sense as to uh, how can we find the latitude of the second ship if only what is given is speed of the ship uh, or the course of the ship and d long of the ship so you can see here we have not even used a course so you must be wondering why then is the course given now the course is given only to show you that the vessel is sailing along the same parallel latitude which tells you that this is a question based on parallel sailing of ships that's why the course is given otherwise you can see throughout we have not used the course anywhere, neither 270 nor 090. So that is why it's important for you to know that. So when you understand it's a parallel sailing question, then you will understand there is only one formula to use, which is departure equals g long time cos of latitude.
then start writing what you have given or what is given to you start putting that in the formula and find out what is not and if slowly things will make sense to you so hopefully you understood this question guys and uh, let me know if there was any issue with understanding uh, this question whether something i should have explained more uh, look forward to your comments and feedback and um, i will see you soon with my next video thank you for subscribing and thank you for supporting the channel as always good luck with your